<laughs> I'm not getting enough attention. I'm Gen Z Kelly. This sucks. I only get attention from Sims Online. What are you talking about? I'm not screwed. I'm not worried. I got my sugar daddies right. I've got eventual guys that will pick me up after I get my thousand cocks there. Oh, I've seen too many cocks in too many lands, in too many bedrooms. I've seen too much vagina as well. Oh, Jensi Kelly. I've had so many lesbian experiences. <laughs> it still doesn't make me happy. What are you talking about? I'm not screwed. <sighs> oh, my effing Lord. American women, I, 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 I'm glad I'm not you. I, <laughs> my legionnaires as well, they know it is getting... 63% of men are walking away from dating, hooking up, marriages, relationships for the first time ever in effing history. Guys are just walking. The, the price of ass is lower than ever. The ease of getting into a relationship is easier than ever. Even for the average guy. You guys understand. This is unprecedented. It's effing crazy. And guys are still walking away. They're like, no. This, this is crazy. It's effing. <laughs> but as always, we're on, we got our finger on the pulse and we got noise outside. Guys are just walking away. <laughs> Do you... To my American girls out there, do you understand how bad that is for you? You're effing screwed. Here's what's so funny. To all you geniuses out there, guess what? I got a shitload of leverage. That is correct. I got options up the yin yang. Why am I? And a lot of you guys ask, why do you care if you have all this, lever all this leverage and all these options? Because it affects us all. It doesn't matter if you're a Chad. It doesn't matter if you're Tyrone. It doesn't matter if you got... It doesn't matter. It, this affects all of us. It doesn't matter if you're the lowest guy on the totem pole. It's irrelevant. This stuff is important because guys need to get it together. That's how we make progress. We need to agree on some things. For the love of God, guys... Just one effing thing. How about that? Bro, I get F. Bro, but a pussy. I approach. I'm getting guy running, bro. You get no boof. Uh, I leased my car, homie. Oh, I'm so tough. These mother effers. We need to get on one accord. Can we agree on one mother effing thing? Or you, do we have to constantly disagree? How about we start with simple things? American marriage is dead. And it's not coming back anytime soon. <sighs> A lot of the Gen Z guys are going to agree. Because <laughs> they've already... Guys, they've left the... The Gen Z... You guys think I'm kidding, but Gen Z guys... By the time they hit 30, 40, American girls are, will be done. It will be all over by then. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a bloodbath, man. Because a lot of these guys aren't getting laid and they've seen. They've been red-pilled at massively young ages. They've seen unbelievable things that they should never have to see. <clears throat> they've seen their mothers become prostitutes. You understand how F that would... That, guys, there is no... <sighs> There's no bigger red pill than that. I can't even imagine if my mom was a prostitute. My God. <laughs> I would... Oof. I would tell her good F and luck. I don't care if it's my mother. <sighs> American girls, you really screwed. In, and I, Here's what's so funny. I'm not even a prude, girls. I'm a wild man.
I'm effing crazy. And <laughs> you've, done, you've done irreparable damage. But it's cool. You'll find out the hard way. All my le legionnaires are giggling and laughing. <laughs> They're in big trouble. 63% guys just walking away. That is, and I bet you it's higher for Gen Z. <laughs> oh my God. It, it's, oh man. You ladies really don't get it, do you? When guys walk away, everything ends. And I went over this in my past stream. What was I talking about? I can't remember. I think I was talking about traditional Colombian women and for some reason I got diverted. But I tied it all back together. You little ladies have no clue. When the guys leave, the alimony leaves. The child support leaves. All the stuff that you bank on to become wealthy. You boss bitches out there. <laughs> Over 90% of women, and by the way, just check the numbers, a-holes. Over 90% of all these millionaire women got their money through divorce settlements. Look it up. You're not out here changing the world, ladies, with your eyelash businesses. <sighs> My name is Shaquith Lejig. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start an eyelash business. I'm in... Shaquifla. Mm-hmm. With my wigs. How many... <laughs> how many women if I sound like that? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Hey. Oh, my God. I'm crazy. I'm doing... Guys, I'm doing this in, like, the whitest suburbs ever. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a wild man. See, guys, what you guys don't understand... I'll get... But... <laughs> I'll get back to the girls and not making any money. See, what you guys don't understand is if you're a white guy and you do not uh, prescribe to uh, the normie behavior, such as getting married and, you know, the whole, uh, what's it called? The subservient nonsense and putting up with a lot of passive aggressive behavior at home. And oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful tree. If you don't do that stuff, you are out. You are so far outside of the matrix, it's not even funny. <laughs> so for me, <laughs> for me, I fit in better with, uh, let's just say perennially single communities. But here's what's funny, is the younger generations of white guys obviously are more on that, you know, they're more on that end of the spectrum. It's the old baby boomers and the old Gen Xers. You guys will see they're very dialed into the matrix. So, not for long. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my Lord. It is going to be so brutal. Guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You guys think it, this is nothing. The, the, the girls are just barely starting. You've got 18 year olds becoming prostitutes. And now millennials want to kick it, you know, jump in on, they all want to join. I literally have women on these, on these sugar daddy apps who are in their thirties, late twenties, forties, fifties, hitting me up. You know, of course I'm just amused by it. Cause I'm in monk mode right now. I'm focused babies. That's why I get so much testosterone. <laughs> Your testosterone goes, man, guys. Monk mode can make you a little nutty, but it's great content. <laughs> uh, you're on steroids, bro. That's what you need. You're probably taking them. No, no, no. I'm good. <laughs> I like, you know, I like, um, I like like organic supplement uh, supplements like ginkgo biloba, lion's mane. What's the other one? What's the other one? Uh, ashwagandha, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Keep your head clear. Keep you focused. Keep you virile. A little caffeine in the morning, you're set. A little matcha. I like that type of. I, I don't like the stuff that makes me uh, too, you know, up and. I don't like that stuff. Like if I if I take a Red Bull, oh my God, guys, the crash. I can't do it, man. 
stuff is a little too intense. Nothing wrong with it if you guys can handle it, but yeah, stuff is just, it just messes with my system. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'm Shaquifla. I'm making millions of dollars, sir. Sure you are, buddy. Sure you are. Anyway, the majority of these ladies are getting their money in divorce settlements. Once the men leave, guess what happens, ladies? Your cash cow leaves. Oh, we can do whatever. We'll be fine on our own. You, you literally can't see the writing on the wall. You're so far in denial. You keep shaming men. You keep attacking them. And they keep leaving, you dumb mother effers. Are you stupid? Are you retarded? No, here's the problem. Now, I, I know on my last stream, I said women stay on code, and I respect that, and I do. But here's your problem, ladies. When you stay too much on code, this is the repercussions. See, what a lot of guys, guys, what you guys don't know, what some of you don't know, to my legionnaires, a lot of girls want to be wives. They want to come home and do all this stuff. But the vast majority of American women are doing what? They're telling you, don't you, oh, what are you doing? What are you being a slave for? What's wrong with you? Libtard American women are kicking the crap out of conservative American women. And the problem is conservative women are soft by nature. They're not fighters. That's not their job. And by the way, women in general are of the hive mind. They cannot fight back. They follow. That's what they do. They're very easy to manipulate, guys. It, it's like, so to my conservative American women out there, you're in big trouble. And things are not turning around anytime soon. You're going to have to find, I've already gone over this. You're going to have to go to another country. And by the way, you're probably going to get your ass kicked because the conservative there, girls there have more skills than you do. It's that simple. I don't care if you're from the South. I couldn't care. I've met you chicks. I got, I'm a Southern Bill. <laughs> I get that. But that snarky ass crap will not fly. Not here and not over there. Not to conservative men. It's not happening. Guys are opting the F out. Do you understand? Hello? <laughs> you just you don't get, you're literally retarded. You, man, American girls are screwed. If you guys want, by the way, to my ladies out there, I get about 20 to 30% of you. If you watch this crap and you come back five years from now, and you start hitting me up and telling me, oh, I, I learned. I really don't care. Too late. You lose. I win. We all win. Legionnaires are winning. <laughs> and I went over this 10 months ago. Almost 11 months ago. Guys are walking the F away. I've been saying this for almost a year. And now we've got proof, and it's going to get worse because guys are not going for it. They're tired of listening to your bull crap. <laughs> I'm not cussing as much on these streams so I can get advertiser revenue. Ooh, he's selling out. Yeah, you're damn straight. I'm, I want my money. You think this isn't a business? You dumb mother effer. You, oh, let's just complain all day. I'm not here to complain all day. I'm here to make some money and entertain you mother effers and put a little bit of message behind it. You want to go complain, make your own effing content and make no money. You heard me. I see these channels of these guys who got no subscribe, you know, the same amount of subscribers as me and they've been doing it for 10, 20 years. <laughs> Almost, tw well, YouTube has been, what, been around 15, almost 20 years. I'm looking at this. I'm like, what? <laughs> Come on, man. I'm not doing this shit for free. What the hell do you think? Who do you think I am? It doesn't matter. I have another business. I don't care. 
when I do stuff, I do it to be the best. And you're not going to be the best complaining all day. That's what simps do. What we do here is we take action. Kill three birds with one stone. If I have to water down my message a little, so be it. I don't care. Because guess what? I'm not here to change the world. See, here, here's what a lot of guys do not understand. I'm not here to change the world. And by the way, content creators don't change a goddamn thing. All we do is we essentially say what other people are thinking that they can't say. That's how it goes. That's a nice bike. That's what comedians do. That's what talking heads do. And guess what? Most of them are puppets. This is how it goes. I'm more of an entertainer. It's not my job to change the world. And by the way, why, why would I want to? I know where things are going. I already know where things are going. Why do I care about manipulating everything? It's not my effing job, dude. <laughs> and that's the biggest problem with most of these hope strategy mother effers. They're looking for a bailout. They're looking for someone to bail them the F out. Nobody's coming to save you. That goes for you, American women. That goes for you, monkey sips. To my legionnaires, you're already on the right path. You're following the legionnaire code. The legionnaire code is what? It's monk mode. It's staying focused, staying on your purpose. It's when you want to... It, over the age of 35, if you want to settle down, you get yourself a traditional foreign woman over effing seas. Not here. Not in the States. That means everything else is off limits. I don't care if you don't like it. Living with women in America, bad idea. The worst idea you could ever have in your mother effing life. Being with an American woman is even worse. It doesn't matter if she's a good girl. See, here's what a lot of guys don't understand. I don't care if she's a good girl. I don't care if she's nice right now. I don't care if she's a good girl right now until you do something dumb that she doesn't like. I don't care. The law doesn't see it that way. Society doesn't see it that way. And she sure as hell doesn't see it that way. And that's why you know you're neutered when you're in a relationship. It's that simple. So am I here to change you? No. I know you're going to still do it. By the way, I'm going to... 99% of the people who watch this stuff, they're not changing the goddamn thing. They're going to keep doing what they're doing. They're going to fail miserably. And I can't wait. Because you guys are going to make me a hell of a lot of money. You heard me right here. <clears throat> if you don't like it, I don't care. There's going to be about 1% of guys that follow this stuff that go, okay, this crazy mother effer, he might be onto something. Because I see some similarities, you know, you know, I see some parallels. There's going to be about 1%, one, eh, maybe two. If I get really big, maybe 5% that are going to follow this and say, oh, okay, now I get it. I got gotcha. you. And they're going to make their lives a lot, lot better. They're going to make a lot of money. They're going to be able to have much more, a much more flexible lifestyle. They're going to be able to do things that most average people can't. And by the way, some of the average guys are going to do it. Some of the average guys are going to jump on board and say, oh, you know what? It's not a bad idea. They're going to improve their lives. Period. But I'm not here to change the world, gentlemen. My job is to kick ass and win. My purpose... If you guys really want to know, which I've gone over before, my purpose is to win. There is nothing else on this planet. Zero percent. Now, some of you guys are like, well, I hope you get a traditional form of women and you have kids and stuff. Yeah, that's fantastic. But that's not my imperative, guys. I love kids. They're awesome. But do you see what I'm saying? <sighs> I leave that to better men, more patient men. I got my children right here. <laughs> Maybe I'll adopt, but it just was never for me, to be honest. But I do like kids. I really do. 
taking care of them, raising them. Uh, I've always been Uncle Paul, that type of guy. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Got to smell the roses, gentlemen. Ooh, man, the roses are blooming. My grandfather was a rose farmer. And palms and king palms, humongous, effing palms. <sighs> so expensive. They require a lot of water. Ah. <sighs> It's not my job to change it. It's not my job to change you, little American ladies. These are some beautiful roses. Damn, these rose bushes are very well manicured. Hold on a second. Oh, that's damn. The smell of a rose, the scent is remarkable. Why the hell are there so many ambulances? I'm hearing all sorts of crazy stuff. I worked out my legs today, guys, so my testosterone is way up. <sighs> I was doing single leg squats. You heard me. Single leg squats, mother effort. Lunges. Guys, when you work out your legs, your testosterone just shoots through the roof. Oh, man. Oh, it does. Great son of Sam. <laughs> Plus, my body fat's going down, so my testosterone's going down. Anyway, I got to stop shouting. You're getting really upset, buddy. You need to calm down. <sighs> but anyway. My little American girls, you're in big trouble. What are you going to do? Well, you're going to do whatever the other girl does in America for the most part. You're going to be deflecting. You're going to be angry. You're going to be pissed off. <gasps> it's just a, it's the sun, guys. It's pretty bright. It's, it's beating the crap out of my eyes. Ow, 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 ow. It's a problem when you got light eyes, guys. It burns. It burns. The little ladies, what you're going to do is you're going to deflect. And then when it's too late, uh, guys, this is my prediction, and it's going to come true. The girls are going to keep deflecting, keep shaming. Oh, you're just a bunch of incel virgins, and oh, you can't get any women. Ugh. They are going to parrot what the simps and the game guys say. And by the time they are out on the street, hookers on the street with nowhere to go, they're going to start crying. Because, see, guys, there's no middle ground for American women. I want you guys to take a look at this. This is absolutely spectacular. Behind me. Woo! Look at that ocean, baby. It is beauteous, sir. It is beauteous. I'm going to go to the ocean today. When, every th when, the sh when the crap hits the fan, the ladies are in big trouble. And by the time that happens, they are just going to panic. See, right when the shaming ends and, you know, the insults and the defle digs, deflection, insults, guilt, gaslighting, and shame ends, they're going to switch because the strategy isn't working. Remember what I told you about what we talked about. How do American women manipulate? How do we American women get their way? Deflection, insults, gaslighting, guilt, shame. That's what they do. Because they have no other way to keep a man. Ouch. They sure as hell aren't friendly. They sure as hell aren't loving. They sure as hell aren't caring like traditional boring girls. My name is Angel, Angel Fernandez. And I am a tiny Filipino. I am about 4'11". And my shoe size is 5. And I'm very cute, sir. I have a heart-shaped face. And I have a tiny button nose, big eyes, so I'm very cute, and long hair down to my puet, which is butt in Tagalog. And you may not touch my backpack, which is pussy in Tagalog. We must wait until we are together. But I am going to treat you like a king, sir. Guaranteed. I'm going to make you the pancit, the lumpia. Sinigang. Also, I will kiss you every day because I want to have a good man and I will rape him every day. It's going to be glorious. <laughs> oh, the Filipinas, man. Let me tell you, guys, don't sleep on Filipinas. You guys think I'm crazy. They <sighs> Filipina chicks are smoking hot 
from the Philippines. Smoking hot. They're a mixture of Latin, Asian. It, it just, it's ridiculous. They usually have thick lips. Oh man, see, I kind of like a little bit thin lips, kind of th thicker than the uh, than the white girls. And the little fennel penis, the panais. Oh my god. Oh, oh, it's just beautiful. They treat their men like kings because they know they need to team up with us. They need to go to war with, uh, to battle with us, to war. They need to support their men. They know this. They know they're screwed if they don't. See, that's what <laughs> I do feel bad for the American girls for that because you, you girls were totally sold a bunch of crap, but now you got to do something about it. And it isn't my problem. You can pay me. You can call me. I'll help you out on a clarity call. I'll get your life together, but it's not going to be easy and you're not going to like it. And you, you're not going to want to pay. You're going to want to suck my, you know what, so you can get a call and it's not happening. Because I don't want to dick suck from you. Because no, you, <laughs> the vast majority of you are terrible at it. <laughs> I'm just being honest. You're going to try to suck my, you know what? And, and I'm going to be like, ah, no. This is not worth a clarity call. This is awful. <laughs> Am I using too much teeth? Ah, ah Jesus Christ. Jeez. I'm going to bite it. These crazy ass white bitches. They're terrible. <sighs> Most of you are too old also. I don't want your old ass, your old wrinkly late 30s. Ugh, get the hell away from me. Disgusting. Yeah, yeah, you were you wasted your game. Look, why can't you be honest with yourself? American girls can't be honest with themselves. <laughs> you wasted your youth. You had fun. Now you get effed. You know the opposite of fun? Hard work. That's what you have for the rest of your life. Not fun. That's what happens. And the only reason that men can turn that around is by putting in a hell of a lot. For example, I always cut, bring myself up. I had, I partied way too much, way too much guys in my twenties. It was out of, it was so outrageous. And I'll go over it on my college stories again, you know, on my college series. <laughs> the college girls are guys are just, it, it's too much. It, it borders, it, it borders, it's borderline out, just ridiculous. And once the colleges go out of business, which eventually they will, well, a lot of the state colleges and community colleges, they won't be able to stay afloat because the government won't be able to, to save them. But yeah, the debauchery is going to continue. <laughs> ah, yeah, American girls, you're in big trouble. I'll go over all that stuff on, the, on that series. You girls, are, you girls are a mess. You have no solution. Here's what's so crazy. What, what do you get out of shaming all these guys? You think they're going to come around? Why do you think that works? Why would that work on a guy with some balls, with some testosterone? He's not going to, he is not going to, he's going to tell you to go F yourself. You thought you knew better miss insecurity and now you get what you deserve and to all you simps out there you can't even save them that's the crazy simps you can't even save these chicks there's not enough of you you don't have enough money <laughs> uh, and even then yeah, the simps will use them and then just kind of just slink away <laughs> uh, simps are wiping them up guys k jewelers bankrupt Robbins Brothers, out of business. What's the uh, wedding business? I forgot. If you guys could put that in the comment section. Donkey, punch the like button. Comment in the comment section. Share this freaking video. Donate. Hit that super thanks and tell me how great of a job I'm doing. Tell me how much of an a-hole I am doing a great job. <laughs> uh, I'm going to post your guys super, uh, super thanks. I think I'm going to do that. Because I really do appreciate that stuff, man. I got my first super chat on my live stream the other day and I almost crapped my pants. I was like, dude, this is awesome. Ah. Yeah, 
yeah, most guys aren't going to follow this stuff. Oh, it's too much work, bro. Oh, it's too much work. I don't want to go. Oh, mouth-breathing idiots. But that's all right. They're not meant to. Most Guys, most people are meant to lose in life. You want to know how I know? Because I used to be a loser. And I lost every day. I just gave up. Just giving up. Oh, I could have made that life of my... <sighs> Jesus, do I really want to go up? No. Just leave it. Just leave it. Anyway. My poor little America girls. <laughs> you can set up a clarity call with me. My husband will pay for it. My sugar daddy will pay for it. You can set up a clarity call. I'll steer you in the right direction. <laughs> oh, I love it. My poor little American girls. No, there's going to be a couple select guys who follow this stuff, and they're going to make... Man, I could have made that light. Damn it. I'm not using my explosiveness. Ah! There'll be a couple of you that are going to change your lives, and I'm going to be happy for you. And you're going to do backflips and cartwheels. But most, you're not going to do a goddamn thing. You don't have the intensity. You just don't. And you cannot execute. That's your biggest problem. Most of you out there cannot execute with a damn. It's not reverse psychology. I'm just being real with you. I'll never forget. You guys are not going to believe this. My grandfather, who came from literally nothing and built a massive business, a big business, a lot of money. I'll never forget. I've never told this story actually to anybody in my entire life, ever. I've never told this story. <sighs> but I was about 15, and my parents were kind of mooching off. Well, <sighs> my parents in a lot of ways were mooching off of my grandparents. It's called from shirt sleeves to shirt sleeves. It's when the uh, you know, the eldest generation makes all the money, the second generation spends it, and then the third generation, they make all the money again. Well, that's kind of kind of a similar situation. Anyway, my grandfather literally lived in a shack with it's just crazy. And what he did was he built this freaking this farming, you know, empire. You know what I mean? And then I'm technically the, 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 the generation after my parents, right? So what I did was, oh, I got fans. <laughs> They're making a lot of noise. <laughs> but what, so what happened was, what was I saying? My, gra <laughs> my grandparents were the first generation, then my, genera uh, my parents' generation, then my generation. He comes up to me one day, and my grandfather was a man of few words. He was very stoic very introverted and man that guy worked till worked his bone he he i think he retired at like 70 or something crazy like that anyway he he takes one of my hands and he looks at it and he goes these hands have never seen a hard day's work I was a kid, and I'm not a kid, kid, but I was 15, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I didn't, I didn't understand. I didn't understand because my parents, I had adopted a lot of my parents' bad behavior. Look, my parents are awesome in many ways, but I adopted a lot of their bad behaviors, and I didn't even know it. That stuck with me, man. That 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 like, because I knew I was slipping, and I did, guys. When you're handed specific things in life, when you're given specific advantages and opportunities, you don't really see it and you take that crap for granted. And I didn't realize, right, or I didn't realize it at the time, but it set me down a much better path because then I was like, uh, you know, I got to get on my stuff. I got to start excelling and taking this, you know what I mean? To raise my intensity level. Do you see it? So like he would teach me about farming. And stuff like that. And I, I thought everybody did that as a kid. I was, it was weird. But my point being, that intensity never goes away. And once I got rid of the girlfriends and all the ass and all the stupid distractions, oh my God, like a rocket ship. Guys, this is you. 
You're always moving up. I don't care how old you are. You know what? F it. Let's, let's prove a point. I'm going up these hills, even though my legs are crippled. This is you. You're the rocket ship going to the stratosphere all the way up. Yeah, I don't care how old you are. <laughs> you could be 12. You keep at it. And you stay away from these goddamn mother effing slugs. Oh, my girl's different. Son, you're a junior. You don't know anything. How is your girl different? Please explain to me. She doesn't do any of those things you say. I'm wet behind the ears. Right now. How much does this she distract you? Oh, not much. I know you love. <sighs> I, I know you want to be the exception. I know you do. However, guess what? It's going to cost you, son. And when it costs you, don't come back to me crying. You're going to have to make a hard decision in life. Do you want to please others? Or do you want to please yourself? Pause. Do you want to win in life or you can choose to lose? Those are the only two. There's no in between. There's no straddling the fence. So I'm going to tie it all back together to my American girls who are losing, who are screwed. There is no straddling the fence. You chose getting ran through. Now you're going to have to pay the price. There are prices to be... Guys, checks will be cashed. I don't care how strong you are, how buff you are, how handsome you are. Strong jawline like me. Doesn't matter. Blue, baby blue eyes. Doesn't matter. I don't care if you're six foot ten. There will be a price to be paid. If you slip down the wrong path, I guarantee it. I wish it, guys, I wish it wasn't true. I really do. But I still have to pay the price for all my activity to this day. And I'm going to have to pay for many, 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 many effing years. Because I went the wrong path. I don't want you guys having that same experience because it sucks. Guys, I work seven goddamn days. Guys, you see me taking a day off? There is content pumped out every mother effing day. Every day. Guys, do you understand? To my legionnaires, do you understand? I went 110 days straight of content. That, that was the first day I took off. <laughs> 110 days straight, constantly. You either want it or you don't. I'm not even bragging. There's other guys that would lap me. It's terrifying. Because I want to win that badly. Because I lost for too many years. Because I know what it's like to have the girlfriend. She's the exception. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Come on, bro. I'm Sippy Sam. You know, see, what you need to do is you need to settle. Settle down. Settle for less. See, what do you settle for in life? You settle for less, not more. You always settle for less. So settle. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Oh, oh, I just had an ingasm. It felt that happiness. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know I'm a mental patient. Anyway, my legionnaires will learn the hard way. Oh, yes, you will. So American girls, you have to pay that price. The price that you're going to pay is with your youth and beauty. You're going to have to pay that price. All the stuff that you thought that you could take for granted, all the stuff that you thought would never go away will evaporate. And by the way, I don't take any pleasure. You, you guys think I take pleasure in this crap? I really don't because I got over that crap years ago, number one. And number two, it doesn't help any of us. The more American girls lose, it just, it makes our, in some ways it makes our lives a little more annoying. The good news for my legionnaires, for all of my Gen Z guys, for all ages, especially the Gen Z guys, you guys are going to have massive opportunities you have no idea that are coming because you have to sacrifice whether you like it or not because these girls are giving you guys hell. You have to suffer in order to succeed. 
There is no victory without defeat. Get it through your brains. All you a-holes that just want to win all day, you're not going to win all day until you lose. That's why I'm a winner. Because I've lost more than you. I've lost way more than you. Do you see what I'm saying? When you start losing, you're going to start winning. <sighs> I've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. I've made every goddamn mistake. American girls, you're going to pay. <sighs> My poor little American girls. It's okay. I'm petting your heads. I'm petting your heads. It's okay. You're going to be all right. <laughs> Can you bail us out? Nope. I'm going to smell these beautiful flowers. God damn, they smell good. I love it when the flowers are out, guys. I don't like the too much pollen, but just, just, the, just the right amount. Those things smell good. Ah, my poor little American girls. They're in big trouble. I'm really screwed. There's no, there's no solution. It, there really isn't. There's no way for you guys to make up for what you've done. I don't care if you're from the South. If you got a body count higher than zero, you're pretty much, if, you, see, you gotta, you, you girls gotta look to your parents. Your parents screwed you, okay? They, they gave you that liberal lifestyle. They said you could do whatever you want. And now you, you reap what you sow. You're going to get it. And no, you're not getting wifed up. Ah, it's brutal. All these high profile, high profile divorces, Steven Crowder. <laughs> I mean, I, marriage is dead in the West. Can we at least, guys, can we, to my legionnaires, can we at least agree on one mother effing thing? Marriage is dead. Fair enough? Thank you. Should I go to the beach? Sure. I don't want to go around these normies. Okay, fine, I will. You twisted my arm. <laughs> I'm a little crazy today, Jim. But I promise it'll be worth it. It's going to be glorious. <laughs> Man, I've only been doing 42 minutes? Damn. I feel like we're doing hours already. Today's just a longer day, I guess. Let's get in a good sunset for you gentlemen. Before it is too late. Before the Gen Z's run over here and try to jump in the video, which they win. They love to jump in the video. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, guys, it's going to be brutal. And the... You know, I know what's really funny? To all my legionnaires, the amount of women that you are going to come to try to get bailed out by you guys is going to be outrageous. Mothers, daughters, grandmothers, aunts. And here's what they're all going to say. They're all going to have a sob story, gentlemen. All of them. Not some of them. Not a few of them. All of them. They're all going to have a sob story. Oh, could you just help us out a little more, please? I can't go that high pitch, but it's <laughs> Oh. Oh, my poor little ladies. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with yourselves? Well, Subway's hiring. <laughs> Not for long. Once they once they automate all that crap, that's because look, <laughs> AI is already gonna take over prawn. AI is going to take over the internet, so you can't do that anymore. <laughs> and the freaking and the market is saturated with you know what, so girls are in big trouble. In big trouble. I don't know what you're going to do. Actually, I do know what you're going to do, but I'll save that for later. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, I, I definitely know. I know what you're going to do. Ay ay ay. Brutal. So many different areas. <laughs> There's so many different areas that you're very deficient in, but I'm gonna leave you girls alone for a little bit. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let this marinate for a while. I'm gonna let this all marinate. I want you to think about all the nasty stuff you've done in bed, all the wild fun you see. Here's your biggest problem, American girls. You think you're equal, but you're not. You never have been, you never will be. And by the way, nobody's equal to anybody. That's your biggest problem. 
You're not equal to anybody. You think you are, but you're not. Because nobody's equal to anybody in life. We're all different. That's the problem. That's what you can't get through your little pea brains. That's what you've been lied to about over and over and over again. Equal, equal, equal. We're not equal, stupid. We all have different strengths and weaknesses. We are not the same. That's what equal means. The same. We are not equal. Stop saying it. You're going to learn. You're going to learn the hard way. And by the way, I've been saying this for freaking decades. Now you got to learn the hard way. And by the way, I'm not the only one. Look at the size of those shoulders, son. I can carry trucks on these freaking things. Look at that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, my poor, poor little American girls. Don't worry, we'll say some prayers for you. <laughs> I'm not religious, but I'm saying say some prayers for you. Did I go around? I kind of want to go in the sand, but I kind of don't. I want to I want to avoid normies. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Slow down. We're not equal. That's another way that you have not understood that you are screwed. You cannot do what men do and get the same results. You can't. That's where you failed. You tried to do everything we do just to try to say that you could and, you know, big ass chip on your shoulder. Well, that didn't work. Now, what do you do? See, a lot of you girls wanted to go ahead and play, you know, play, play daddy, play the man for a while. See, cause you're, you're pretty lost, right? You want to act like a guy. Then you want to act like a boss. Then you want to act like this. So you wanted to play all these different roles like an actress and it didn't work. It's brutal. It's so depressing. I don't like talking about your girl's crappy lives, man. It makes me sad. It's so pathetic. It's like, damn. oh, like, how do you even deal with it? The dogs always agree, man. The dogs agree. I thought that was a Gen Z girl barking. I'm not joking. Ah, oh. anyway, my to all my American girls out there. Yes, you can pay for help. I know you won't. You know what you're going to do? <laughs> you're going to call me when it's too late. When all the S hits the fan. Because that's what most people do. <clears throat> they never, they never, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I'm going to leave it at that. That's a nice note to leave it on. So, keep up in your chest. Keep Keep screaming about equality. Keep doing that nonsense as you drill yourselves into the ground. Ah, I'm just going to keep kicking ass over here. Getting buff. Getting in shape. I got my jawline back. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm going to get pretty ripped for a 40-something-year-old guy. I'm in incredible shape. My lung capacity. I swam. Today was spectacular. I was doing laps. I was like, I'm not getting tired. This is awesome. Okay. All right. <sighs> Long capacity. <laughs> it was spectacular. Worked out my legs. Oh, oh my little, my all, all, all age women. <laughs> you want to know what's funny? You, here's, here's something we have not gone over that I've been thinking about a lot. American women of all ages act like they're 12. They're all stunted at the age of 12. Arrested development. And I think it was uh, Shahrazad Ali. I think she's the one who went over the, uh, don't quote me on this, but uh, essentially that women, once they hit a certain uh, puberty, and now, you know, they have men interested in them, now they get arrested development at that age. They essentially just stop growing mentally. It's fascinating stuff. Anyway, I was reading about that. I can't remember if that was her or some other lady. Trippy, huh? But they, they just stop mentally growing. That's it. So they act like little 12. You got a 50-year-old a woman talking about how she's going to find her Prince Charming. <laughs> He's like, 
Oh my mother effing. You're, you, guys, you have to back the F away. You have to back up and get the, these people are, will ruin your life. I don't stay, guys, I do not stay around mentally ill people. I stay around people that have as much to lose as me, if not more. I stick around guys that have more money than me, more influence, because I want to be where they are. I want to stay at the cream of the crop. Now, that, I'm not saying you need to do that. I will never tell you guys to be high value because there are a lot of trade-offs you do not understand. I will never tell you to go become, you know, even six figures and all this other crap. Do you see what I'm saying? It's just, guys, <laughs> there's a lot of trade-offs. Now, you're going to have to actually work to make money. And if you're below the poverty line, you probably want to move. You want to go somewhere where your overhead is low. Because live... What the hell is that noise? Because living in a big-ass city like L.A. and you're making minimum wage, okay, you're in big trouble. Big cities like freaking New York, L.A., Miami, Dallas, ooh, okay, you're in trouble. Look at this beautiful Bentley, speaking of which. This thing is beautiful. Can you guys see this Bentley? It's a beautiful Bentley, man. Looking nice. Look at that. Man, that guy's rolling. Pretty nice. I like to see that. I told you guys I live in a very nice neighborhood. Not bragging. But it helps keep out the riffraff. And we get beautiful sunsets. Like that. It's just glorious. Guys, I, there's like a Bentley in every other video. Lambos. We got Ferraris. Porsches. All that nonsense. Anyway. And these guys actually have money. They're not leasing those. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. Well, actually, they do. A lot of wealthy... Here's what's funny. A lot of, well, we'll get into this more in our business series, but a lot of wealthy people do not spend like you think they do. We'll get into it later, guys. I, don't know. I just want to relax. And to my American girls, I'm not rubbing it in your face, but you girls act like 12-year-olds. You are so far... <laughs> 60... Oh, my God. The majority of men in America are what? Do, are, do you understand how much garbage you girls are? For the majority of men to walk away, to not even want to be interested in you? Because I'll tell you this much, if 63% of women were walking away from men in America, we would be hearing, we wouldn't hear the end of it. Oh, men are such trash. We're walking away from you. Ooh, but you can't. Because you need us, stupid. Miss, I'm independent and strong, which you are not. You are neither of those things. <laughs> because you sure as hell can't pay your own bills. Nope. Got too many, too much debt. Number two, you sure as hell aren't strong. Not at all. You're masculine, but that doesn't make you strong. Traditional foreign girls are very strong. I will always be there for you. I am very happy. I am a happy with a traditional nugget. That is correct. I know this. <laughs> oh my god. Why are you always laughing at me? You're so mean. Sunny Kim is back. I want to pinch your cheeks. They're so soft. Can I kiss it? <laughs> Hegele! Hachima! I'm getting whiny now. <laughs> Little Koreans, they're so fun. <laughs> Usually they're, they're very quiet, but they say stuff. It's just too. Oh my god. Thank you for giving me a kiss on my cheek. I kissed your cheek and then you kissed it back. Now I I'm going to make you some rice. <laughs> Traditional foreign girls are strong because they're the backbone of the relationship. Because they hold it down no matter what. They support no matter what. Guys, you'll never meet a stronger woman in your entire life than a traditional foreign girl or traditional foreign. It, it's not even close. They support like nobody's business. They hold it down. This is... <laughs> 
This is another reason why American girls are screwed. Because the 63% of men that are walking away are not just going to be incels and virgins and all this other nonsense. They're going to go traditional foreign. And by the way, once they get worded, see, this is why girls hate passport bros, hate passport kings. Because they realize that once guys get a whiff of the superiority over there, American girls are truly effed. <laughs> it's just so smart. Because guys are just going to parade around their traditional women and they're not going to care. See, that's the thing. Guys, once you get tr go traditional, to all my uh, legionnaires out there, once you go traditional foreign, there's no going back. Ever. At all. Not even a little bit. You're, you're just going to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> American girls. <laughs> no. And American girls know this. They do. Oh, my little America girls. It's all right, though. I'm going to pet you. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to, 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 uh, I'm going to pet your pelo rubio, your blonde stringy hair. Cause you all, <laughs> blonde girls always have stringy hair, man. You, you girls know you do. <laughs> it's stringy. It's kind of like, and it kind of just comes out. You're like, is that it? Jesus you know what's funny? I kind of like the chicks, the white girls with the curly hair, long curly hair. Ooh, damn, it's kind of sexy. I'm not going to lie. Brown, like that light brown. Ooh, damn, it's kind of sexy. Because you like, <laughs> I like to pull it, and then it goes, ding, it just goes right back to the curl. <laughs> then you pull it again, ding. <laughs> oh, I like to be in it. Guys, you get Here's some bonus content. To be honest with you guys, girls need to entertain me. I, I get bored. I, <laughs> I'm kind of a jerk. I really am. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of a dick. I really get bored very, very easily. <laughs> so I, I have to kind of play around with them. I, I'm kind of a dick. I'm not very nice. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, if a girl tried to walk in front of me, guys, I'm terrible. See, this is another reason I can't be with American girls, because I'm too abusive. You're abusing me! But then they'll like it, but then they'll play the victim. Like, if a girl walks in front of me, I'm not joking. This is what I do. I give them a flat tire. That's when you step on the back of their shoe. And then they do that. <laughs> and I'm like, don't you ever walk in front of me, you stupid bitch. You called me... And I have, guys, I've called women bitches. I call them all sorts of horrible names to their face. They don't like it because they like calling themselves that. I'm not empowered, me, you saying. You know what you do, guys? Oh, man. See, all this stuff we can't do in America, guys. See, if, if we had a patriarchal society, this is what you do. I know all my nice guys and my normie guys. Even your traditional foreign women like this from time to time, but just be gentle. Dude, there's like a squad of bombers over there. <laughs> it's like four of them. What you do is you grab the, the back of their skull. And you, you take your fingers and you shoot right into the hair like that. You grab it. You I'm going to destroy your fucking holes, bitch. Because you are my girlfriend. She's going to go, oh, oh. <laughs> guys, I'm a wild man. I'm not going to lie to you. You guys think I'm like nice and stuff, but I'm, that's kind of a badass bobber. That's kind of cool. Ah, like, oh, my poor little American girls. I know you're mad. I know you're upset. I know you're pressing the dislike button hard. And you don't want me to say anything else, but I'm going to keep telling the truth until you... So you cry, and you tell your boyfriend, listen to this jerk, I can't believe this guy. And then he goes, okay, honey, oh, oh this guy's kind of interesting. Oh, he's a low-budget entertainer. Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys make me laugh. I don't care. Get him to do what you can do. Donkey punch the like button. Finger the subscribe button. Comment. 
in the comment section. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you hate. My skin is freezing for some reason. I don't know why. Donate. Hit that super thanks button. Say thank you, sir. Thank you for all the entertainment and nuttiness that I get to listen into the background while my girlfriend beats the crap out of my confidence. Thank you, sir. Hit that damn button. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it like a crackhead. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, we got tons of Corvettes here, guys. And crappy cars, too, as well. <sighs> Let's conclude this episode with some American Girl noises. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> the normies are looking at me like I'm a mental patient. Let me get closer to the normies. Let, let me annoy the. <laughs> Why? I love that one. That one is, it, it, it's, it's like hurts your ears, like your inner eardrum, the inner part of your inner eardrum, it, it like starts to sting. That one, <laughs> oh, American Girls, it's just too fun. I've got a PhD in American Girls. The weirdest car noises, okay, I'm getting off, off the streets. Ah. <laughs> oh, my little American girls. You're screwed and you're worried. But when things come to a gracious halt, we'll be there to laugh. I mean, help you out. Sure, we'll help you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I was trying to hold that one in, but it just came out. Yes. Until next time, gentlemen, I'm definitely watching you. So let's get to a top.